Hello folks, welcome to Ham Connect. This is the first episode of our podcast series, which is all about nanotechnology. In this series, let us gather some in-depth knowledge on nanotechnology. Nanoscience breaks rules in almost every field of science, and nanotechnologies make our lives easier in this era. Nanoscience and nanotechnology represent an expanding research area which involves structures, devices, and systems with novel properties. The prefix nano is referred to a Greek prefix meaning dwarf or something very small and depex to 1000 millionth of a meter, that is 10 raised to the power minus 9 meter. There is a difference between nanotechnology and nanoscience. Nanoscience is the study of structures and molecules on the scales of nanometers ranging between 1 and 100 nanometer and the technology that utilizes nanometers in practical applications is called nanotechnology. Norio Taniguchi, a Japanese scientist, was the first to use and define the term nanotechnology in the year 1974. Let's look into the history of nanotechnology. The Italians employed nanoparticles in creating Renaissance pottery during the 16th century. They were influenced by Ottoman techniques between the 13th and the 18th century to produce Damascus saber blades, cementite nanowires, and carbon nanotubes, which were used to provide strength, resilience, and the ability to hold a keen edge. The colors and the material properties produced by them lasted for hundreds of years. In 1857, Michael Faraday studied the preparation and properties of colloidal suspensions of ruby gold. Their unique optical and electronic properties make them one of the most interesting nanoparticles. Faraday demonstrated how gold nanoparticles produce different colored solutions under certain lighting conditions. In 2004, a new class of carbon nanomaterials called carbon dots, that is, C dots with size below 10 nanometer, was discovered accidentally during the purification of single wall carbon nanotubes. C dots has many interesting properties such as benign, abundant, and inexpensive nature, which led them to gradually become a rising star as a new nanocarbon member. Nanotechnology has been widely studied for its potential to advance the field of biotechnology and medical research. Regulatory agencies such as the FDA have decided to oversee the emerging field of nanotechnology through existing legislative arrangements. Thank you guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Want to get more updates like this? Yes. The upcoming episodes of this podcast series is all about the applications of nanotechnology. Meet you in the next episode. Until then, stay tuned.